my name is April and this is Thrifty Transformations, the show where I go thrifting for old clothing and transform them into something new. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to be reconstructing a men's button-down shirt, but not just one shirt. I was lucky enough to find two of the same size shirt from Savers. This video is a collab with Q2 Han. They are twin sisters from Korea that have a sewing and fashion channel that's really helpful for those of you who are studying fashion design right now. We've actually been friends on YouTube for a while now, so it's about time we did a collab together. Q Jin, Q1, and I are deconstructing shirts and putting our own twist to it so make sure you guys head over to their channel to see what they made and subscribe i'm so excited to see both of our creations so let's get started i found two of the same exact shirt from savers for a total of ten dollars so now i have twice as much material to work with i'm mainly excited for having two collars because that's the design feature i wanted to play around with the most after a lot of thinking and playing around with different ideas, I decided to button the two shirts to each other to see what it would look like. It created a really cool front and back collar look and because I pulled the front side up more, it made the back low cut which I really liked. I draped it on my dress form to get a better look at it and saw that the sleeves and the back side of the shirt could be removed. But I'm leaving the yoke attached to see what it will look like. Once both shirts are deconstructed, I button them back together and took in the sides to fit me. It's important that you're wearing it or have it on your dress form because the side seams aren't going to match up perfectly since we're making the back low cut. The armhole was kind of funny because the yoke was bunched up there, so I decided to manipulate it into a nicer looking sleeve by folding and tucking it in. Make sure to pin your alterations in place and then sew the folds down. Here's what the dress shirt looks like now. You can leave it as a dress if you want to. I know the style is really trendy right now, but for me personally, I would wear it more as a shirt, so I'm going to trim the bottom away. Hem all the raw edges and we're finished. I love that you can style this top in so many ways. Shout out to Zushu for providing these trendy shoes and choker to pair with my look. I am obsessed with these teleport boots because they complete all of my edgy looks and the platform makes it really comfortable. I'm excited to announce that we are giving away two pairs to two lucky winners, so stay tuned till the end to learn how you can win. Since I have 4 sleeves left over, I laid them all out and immediately it looked like a skirt. I seam ripped all of the seams open so they lay flat and sewed them together to create a half circle skirt. Trim the bottom into an even curve and then sew a basting stitch along the waist to gather it. I'm gathering enough to slide it on and off and to hold it up at the waist I'll be adding an elastic waistband. To make the waistband, I cut 3 inch strips that will fit over the widest part of the hips and then fold it in half wrong sides together and sew the opening closed. I should have actually sewn the two ends right sides together first, but I forgot so I'm doing it now before I sew it closed. Make sure to leave an opening about 2 inches wide so you can slide the elastic through afterwards. Use a safety pin to help guide the elastic band through. Once you reach the other side, overlap the two ends together and sew them down. To close up the opening, stretch the waistband and sew the rest closed. Then I went back and top stitched the edge so the casing hugs the elastic. Next, we can sew the elastic waistband to the skirt by evenly pinning it around the waist and then stretching and sewing it right sides together. With the leftover back pieces, I cut out four really long triangle shapes for the top and we'll be sewing two in the front and two in the back. Just make sure that it's long enough to tie at the shoulders. 
My pieces aren't the same size because I messed up along the way and wasted some fabric so now I'm working with what I got and I even had to sew a few scraps together to make sure one of the pieces was going to be long enough to tie at the shoulders. This is what I'll be doing with each piece. Two will be overlapped in the front and sewed at the waist of the skirt and two will be sewed at the waist in the back. Make sure to stretch the elastic as you sew each piece on. I also made sure to hem all the raw edges before sewing them on, and since my pieces overlap at the side seams, I just top stitched the sides in place so it's more covered up. Lastly, I took the pockets from the two shirts and will be sewing them at the sides of the skirt. And here is the final transformation. My sister Lily is modeling the dress and we attempted to do a photo shoot outside but as you can see it was way too windy. So back to my wall we went. You guys have to try making this adorable summer dress. It was so easy and fast to make and can be adjusted to fit different sizes. On our way back home from the photo shoot, we stumbled upon this beautiful wall of yellow flowers that perfectly matched the dress and shoes my sister was wearing, so we had to stop for some pictures. Alright, for those of you that want to enter the giveaway for a pair of these amazing boots, all you have to do is fill out the form in my description box and be sure to follow Teleport Shoes and me on Instagram. Make sure to read all the rules in my description box in case I missed anything and good luck to everyone that enters. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thrift Day Transformations. Don't forget to head over to Q2 Han's channel to see what they made out of their button down shirts and subscribe to both of our channels for more DIY fashion. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!